12, and the bump resides now with Tommy Mooney at 504. Who, as you remember, has problems with his car getting up on the wheel. Here comes the one and only Keith Haney on a broken arrow, Oklahoma. And he'll be in the left lane, and the 44-year young car dealer, all seven dealerships and all the great things, and the Lucas Oil Racing Junk, Total Seal, Rear Morrison, Schweitzer Dynamics Tune, machine will be down there and uh, he'll back it up and it's good to see that Keith Haney is in the house here this weekend. Excuse me, Brandon Schweitzer and the guys tuning and crew chiefing on the car. Well, we need Ronnie Davis, top sportsman, presented by Magnum Fuel. To the lane, please. way down the track so good job Brandon Pez good job to the Haney racing team awesome to see him in the house oh notorious is back look at that Keith Haney great to see you back brother it's been a little bit you know uh, I'm pretty excited that was a pretty good straight run I think uh, Brandon Schweitzer he's back at uh, back at his shop he had some things he had to do but he's tuning it over the internet with Brandon Pez and you know, I got my wife and kids at home. They're watching right now. You know, it's it's good to be back. And you know, this hat right here, and Brian Olson, he's riding along with me. I don't know if y'all seen it inside the car, but we did a little bit of testing, and we're, uh, you know, that was that was only an '89, but 89. it's fixing to come on. They 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 better have their shit together. You bring it on, man. After Brandon Schweitzer, tune that sucker up. He said, "Turn it up, baby." <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Let's kick butt. Thanks for sponsors. Show up, show out, baby. Right here with Notorious. I don't remember his name. It's something. I'll tell you what, we're in the staging lanes. Very temperamental, a place like this. But I found someone I really want to get on the mic right now. Notorious is sitting over here. Let's see if he's got the mouth to give us the gab. Come on, follow me over here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you what, it is Notorious, the one and only Keith Haney, oh, who is sitting here. Sakovich knows all about this little program. Did I tell you he'd get flustered? Did I tell you? i got to pull his string. Hold on. Here he comes. What are you doing out here today? I mean, it's so hot. There's baseball, there's softball, there's football. What are you doing, Keith Haney? Well, I'm racing. My son's going to be playing football first thing in the morning at about 10 a.m. Awesome. And uh, I'm going to be... Uh, I'm here racing. I'm pretty excited about being here. I missed the last couple of races, you know, and it's, uh, I didn't enjoy it, but, you know, I had my reasonings and then, and, and, uh, I'm back and ready to kick some ass. All right. That's what it's about. Now tell me about Notorious. Is she ready or he ready? She's ready. We're going to see what she's going to do right here. How's everything working? That first run looked good. Oh, I, and I'm not one to be a tuner from the window, right. but it looked fast and it didn't look like it had every it, i'm being honest i'm not trying to get you out it just looked fast but it just looked like there's more to that car there's a whole lot more to Am it I that right? was just a soft I mean, tune-up i could see that if you see even yeah brandon's tuning it from a, uh, his place he had a big uh, major project he had to get done and so he's tuning it over the internet and him and brandon pez are both tuning it and you know i'm pretty excited about some of the changes we made we tested in tulsa so we didn't test here yesterday knowing that the weather is just like this in Tulsa. You know, anything out there you want to say to the drag radial world, to someone that just always ribs that guy out there? I'm going to tell you what. I got something coming special for Donald Long, and you you all need to be there in October because I'm going to come there, I'm going to hurt some feelings, and they all know it. There you go. You heard it right there, Notorious. And what's the name of the other girl? 
Well, if you ask Donald Long, it gives everybody an enema. But if you ask me, it's Enigma. Enigma. Watch out. Notorious is here tonight getting ready to run. Don't want to miss Keith Danny. It's hot as heck here in Memphis, but Elvis never put on a sweat. So, coming to you now. And the left-hand side, this is going to be... The Mississippi Foundation Repair 69 Camaro owned by Michael Banks to 946 cubic inches of bad music power under the hood there for BMG Auto Body and Mike Bankston. Number 14 the field, 390 with a 6. 196 the speed and alongside is Keith Haney. That's right, the one, the only, Notorious. I don't remember his name, it's something or another. He said, bring it on, I'm back, baby, Pro Nitrous style. That 2015 Camaro. 948 cubic inches of rear horse of power. Lucas Oil racing on board as he owns seven dealerships. Man, oh man, keep your eyes on Keith Haney. And Brandon out there. Brandon Pettis watching on. Brandon Swisher could not make it. Doing some remote tuning. Brandon Square. When you got Brandon Square, anything could happen. That is a fact, my friend. No question about it. So you got Brandon Pez, Brandon Schweitzer. All doing what it takes to throw that rear horse and horsepower down to the racetrack here in Memphis. So, Billy Banaka, Brandon, Mississippi. Keith Haney, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, on the line now. So here we go, Haney in the right hand side, Bennett in the left hand side, Banks and boys racing baby. As Banks and out there Wang on, he saw 390 uh, earlier, I believe this car dipped into the 380 zone here. Keith Haney, you never know what will come out of him, he might go into the 370 zone and shock us off. speed for that rear Morrison power 072 on the tree for Banaka it was a th 471 his earlier 390 holds at number 14 Haney number 6 I think there's something going on here I see Al watering out there with the boss he's got the he got a microphone on him right there something going on oh there's Frankie and Haney all right, thank you, Carl Robinson. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen sitting on the stands, you're in for a treat that you never get at a drag race. You talk about classifications of racing in two different classes. We've got two of the best guys probably the country can buy right now. Keith Haney and the Madman, Frankie Taylor. Frankie Taylor in Pro Extreme, Haney who races Notorious in the Pro Nitrous category. And if you're on Facebook, you know this man, believe me. You know what he eats, you know how he breathes, you know how many cars he sells, you know how many baseballs his kid hits. Keith Haney will tell you everything you need to know. Now, I hear there's a little bet going on between Pro Extreme and Pro Nitrous. What is going on, Keith Haney? First, are you nuts? No, that's the madman. Uh, it doesn't matter if he's mad or not. He's been talking crap for about a year now. He got lucky one time in Tulsa. Now, I said, it's got to change right now. He did leave on me, but he ain't doing it today. It's time to bring some back, bring drag racing back to this world. Frankie, get out there and talk about drag racing. He is the madman. I've watched him be cut out of a car in St. Louis, come back to be champion many times, come to be the fastest pro extreme car in the country in Rockingham. This man has done so many things, and he don't need Facebook, baby. He just got to walk on the grounds. Keep your eye on this guy. I'm telling you, 500 on the tree. Yeah, 500 tree. I, last time I left on him, it made him feel bad. And, you know, he's got that oh. short, short syndrome. You know, I, oh, you know. Holy did you hear what he said? Are you sure? Donald told me that, you know, told me, remind him that he's short. You know what I'm saying? He's got that short. There he goes. He's on stilts right now. But now I love this guy. We're going to go have a little funny, a little friendly race. We're going to do some more in Tulsa, too, I guess. He's still got his moon boots from Soul Train. Anyway, I was going to tell you what, $5,000 on the hood of Notorious against the Madman? Yeah. Are you insane? No, not at all. You're just, I mean, it's not drag racing. He's giving away money. No, he likes giving it to me. He wants to make drag racing great again. Bob, what are you good, how do you handle two wild guys like this? 
Hey, we want to incite in the PVRA. This looks like we're going to do it. I talked to Wes Buck. Wes Buck says we're going to do this in every race we're going to call out to. And this is not a gimmick. This is $5,000 real money. They're betting 1000 on ranch time. 500 Oh, oh, oh. They can't even decide. They can't even decide what they're going to do. All right. Is it... Is there, a, is there a spot or what? It just, I get a little bit on paper. I get, I get back tired, but it won't count. So, so we're gonna, we gonna basically give him a number or something. You get a number. A number. Are you gonna change the name of the car to Little Chief? No, I'm gonna change it to uh, uh, the the new Mad Man. I, I mean, you got you got the highways over there. I mean, you got the byways. You might as well start putting names on it. Where's West Buck? Get in there, West Buck. Look at West Buck. I know you got a million cameras. You're the man that's on live feed, making the nation great again. This is insane. I mean, I heard you say I want to do this at every race and find whether it's these two or two other guys that just want to come at each other's throat. We, we mean it when we say we want to make drag racing great again, and that's that's kind of our call to action. It's not that we don't already think drag racing is great. The PDRA is obviously already great, but we want to do something to just inject a little bit of excitement into this deal. you got to get some willing participants, and I'd like to see something like your car gets a decal that says Keith's dad. Oh, Keith's daddy. Yeah, that's Keith's cool. daddy. Yeah. And your car, if you win, gets a decal that says Frankie's daddy. <laughs> right? That's good. How about it? Hey. I'll print the stickers and I'll bring them to the next race. You got to keep it for one race or two? Or the whole year. Fans, I'm going to tell you what. You got you to... They're, they're talking about putting stickers onto the throwdown to the fans that are sitting out there, the ones that it means so much to. This is like rivalries. This goes back to the 70s, the 60s. Yeah. Oh, look at he's still riding your shoulders. What are you gonna have for dinner? Is it gonna be on Facebook? Keith? Uh, I'm gonna have him. There you go. That's what I'm saying. Good luck to him, Bob Harris. Take it away. All right, folks. As they say in drag racing, don't sing it, bring it. Let's go. He don't shake a leaf off any maple tree. He don't shake from Keith Haney. Keith Haney kind of walked back there thinking he was six foot two. Nah, this is going to happen here, right here. We're gonna I'm telling you, out. you're going to get a chance to watch short. Texas come to life here in a minute. Again, we're going to find out very shortly who's who's the bad hombre out of that group. And uh, it's kind of weird, you know, if you look at the numbers, uh, Mr. Haney's almost biting off more than he can chew. But, hey, you never know, and that's what we love about drag racing. You could have everything in the world, and the guy next to you... Frankie, that's not nitro, is it? Nah, it's just regular alcohol. There you go, baby. Go get him. So, Keith Haney and Frankie Taylor. Man, oh man, you know, if I was going to pick two people out for a grudge race here, it wouldn't have been them two. Wow. So everybody getting into position here. <laughs> All right. So Texas, you should see the Texans around this car. I'm telling you, Carl. I told you they're out here for a festival at the PDRA this weekend. There's Texans that don't even race in Promod that are here to represent Frankie Taylor. Andrew oh. sitting down there texting at home, making sure the shelves are stocked at the store right now. He said, I'll be back Monday. You better have the peas on the second shelf. I'm telling you what, it's awesome. Tommy D. April even brought him out of the old back corner over there. He said, are you kidding me? Somebody's gambling here? That's it. Awesome deal. $5,000 on the line here. Pro Nitrous versus Pro Extreme. Notorious. Keith Haney. You know his name. Getting strapped in right over there. A guy that was here, what, two years ago and brought Erica Enders ever to her ever first Pro Nitrous race to spray the car. It was right here at this track, I can remember. And what a night that was. And it's so great to see him down there and the Schweitzer Dynamics team getting ready. Oh, look at this. We even got the windows being cleaned. That never happens. He, he doesn't want the windows clean. Don't hit the bug on the left. It's been there forever. I'm telling you what, are you excited, Andrew? Oh, I'm ready. $5,000. These guys, this, this is a Texas showdown. Yes, it is. That's what I'm saying. They're going to get ready to put them in there. Strapping them in. Bob Harris has given them both the, the A-OK -okay for the five grand. And Frankie Taylor's no one I'd mess with. And when you put money and Frankie Taylor smells the green, I don't care how dirty of a truck stop it came from, he knows how bad to the bone he can get. Going to be cool. Pro Nitrous fans, fans in the stands, get ready. First time for me to watch this, the Pro Nitrous versus the Pro Extreme. 
the way it should have been if you go back to when they said, you know, superchargers, nitrous cars don't mix. I always wanted to witness this at any uh, event at the end of the night, seeing the blower car take on the nitrous car. Well, it's going to happen right here for 5,000 large yeah. and 500 on the tree, Carl. You know, while it's quiet out here, I want to also take the opportunity. I know I said it earlier, but on the starting line now is Chris and Beth Davis from Kryptonite Customs. Today is their 33rd anniversary. To Chris and Beth Davis, happy anniversary. Here comes Frankie the Madman Taylor and Keith Haney. Five grand on the line, folks. I got to know. Quite proactive. He's quite the piece. 
I'll say that. Rod Minix, on the other hand, from Stafford, Missouri, is a really well-centered gentleman. Been racing for years and years, 50 years of age, and that's my mom. So anyway, Dempster's race cars on the left-hand side. What can you tell me about it? Rear Morrison across the board here, the newer pipe on the right-hand side. The car on the left a little bit older, but I don't really see a tremendous competitive advantage here. Yeah, Ron's a good driver. I, I, I ran him a couple times during qualifying. He was really on the tree. He's, he's pretty solid right now, but, you know, he's playing out the last race. You know, he's been time with his kids. Let's hope he can get back in the saddle right here and, and get things done. You know, he got his butt pulled by Frank early. I don't know what he was thinking there. You know, that was like taking on a nuclear missile. I'm not sure what he was thinking either, but you know what? Haney has a reason for everything he does, and he was good. He got his 500 bucks back on reaction by 3,000, so, you know, he can get up on the wheel now and show Ron Minix how it's done, but... Based on performance, I it's say, going to be close. I say whoever leads first is going to get this one. I think this is going to come down right. to the tree. I think they're going to both be you know, right there on ET. Mm -hmm. But whoever leads first is going to get this one. And, you know, it should be a good show. Well, crew chiefs are rolling them into the beams right now. And here comes Keith Haney. Ron Minnie's got the top bolt flip. And we're going to roll them on in. Who's going to like the top bolt now? That's going to be Haney. Right side. All right. Minix is right in. He's got seven seconds. And he's in. All right, go to reaction time. So much advantage here, and that is not going to be your winner. A 383-1197, the win going to Ron Minix. 026 on the bolt. Nobody was laying down on that deal, but Haney's 101 hurt him.